Okay, so is it just me or has anybody ever thought, man, my pastor is perfect. My pastor does not struggle in his relationship with God. Well, honey, let me tell you something. We're all human and we all struggle with our relationship with God. I don't care how great of a preacher you are, how great of a pastor you are, leader, does not matter. The fact is, is that when you pray, when you worship, when you read the word, honey, you're entering into the battlefield. You're entering into the warfare, okay? There's going to be resistance. When you come against the enemy, there's going to be resistance coming. That's why some, sometimes people, when they read the Bible, they get sleepy. Has that ever happened to you? Or you start thinking really horrible thoughts or you start thinking about your to-do list when you're in your prayer time oh I gotta do this and this and this and this, this email yeah yeah oh somebody's calling you mm. when you're fasting somebody asks you to go to your favorite restaurant coincidence I think not the fact is okay the devil's going to resist you because more prayer equals more power it's not that you have the power but God his power can flow through you okay so the fact is, we're going to struggle. I struggle sometimes, and I'm going to give you a few tips on how I keep my relationship with God flowing. Because in the beginning, it's like a honeymoon phase. Baby, you want to be with them all the time. You want to share your heart with them. Oh my gosh. You're talking about them all the time. And then as time goes on, you get comfortable. You're like, I don't need to share my heart with them and tell them how I feel because they already know. Or oh, we spent so much time already, whatever. I'm going to go do this thing. The fact is, okay, when a relationship gets matured, it's like wine, it gets better with time. It's different. It's not the same as before. So a lot of times you want it to be like in the beginning. It's great that you were on fire in the beginning. You want to be on fire now, but it's a different relationship. It's the same relationship, but it's different because it's in a different stage. So here is my board. I am not good with this, guys, because... It's just a cheap old board, but I'm going to share with y'all um, what I do to help me spend time with God when I don't want to spend time with God, okay? First and foremost, I'm going to be honest with God, okay? You cannot sugarcoat things, guys. Not in your prayers, nothing. If you're mad, be mad, okay? You know, in a respectful way, be mad. Tell God how you feel. Read the Psalms. Read about King David. He literally told God he was mad. He was like everything, okay? That he hated his enemies. He was straight up honest. And the fact is God already sees your heart. He already knows. So just be honest, baby. It doesn't matter. So yeah, be honest with God and say, God, I don't feel like reading the word. Can you give me the desire? God, I don't feel like praying. Can you give me the desire? I don't feel like worshiping, can you give me the desire? And when you ask with an earnest heart, I promise you God will come through. Keep asking because God did it for me. He reignited the fire inside of me that I thought was dead. And I begin to pray and read and worship more, okay? So ask for help, okay? Don't be afraid to ask. Ask and you shall receive. You have not because you ask not. Those are Bible verses. You have not because you ask not, okay? Uh, number two, lean on a friend. Honey, if you're sick, what happens? You can't even feed yourself. You're in the bed. You're just so weak or you're heartbroken and you've been in bed eating ice cream and watching uh, friends for like three weeks and you just, you're weak. Okay. You need somebody to come and help you <laughs> feed you, right? So when you are spiritually weak, when you don't feel like eating because you're heartbroken or you're weak or whatever, or you're sick or whatever the case is, call up a friend. We are the body of Christ. We support one another, okay? When there's a body part hurting or there's a body part that's like, you know, scabbed or whatever, an open wound, the whole body turns into defense mode and it's helping that part. So we, we need to help each other, carry each other's burdens. The Bible says if we carry each other's burdens, it's fulfilling the law of Christ, that's what we're supposed to be doing. So call up a friend and be like, hey, I'm not reading the Bible. Can you help me read the Bible? Can you read it to me? Can you help me pray? And I'm not saying you should lean on your friends all the time for this. No, but there's a time and place where you know you're going down, you're, you're backsliding away from God and backsliding starts very subtle. It's just not spending time with God. And then eventually you start leaning on other things, right? You start running to other things instead of God. So be careful. Um, sing a new song to the Lord, dance a new dance to the Lord. Honey, do you know what I do? 
I get I get over here. I put I put my worship music on when nobody's home and I literally start dancing. And I look like a fool, okay? I look like a fool. Remember the Bible says that David, King David, he danced mightily before the Lord. And actually his wife was looking down at him and being like, "You're you're a fool." She was judging him for that. And actually God uh punished her for that. So don't judge people in the way that they worship. Be careful. Um God doesn't take that lightly. Worship is so important. God is seeking worshipers to worship him in spirit and in truth. And when you are worshiping with your body, they're, they're, this, this is war. You're doing warfare. You have no idea what happens in the spiritual realm when you're worshiping. Honey, it breaks off chains. It literally changes things. I remember there was a situation that was happening and it was horrible. And I started praying and I said, God, and then I put this song on that's, that's like, God, turn it around. I'm sure some of you know it. God, turn it around. And I literally went like this. God, turn it around. Turn it around. And I literally used my body to pray in worship. And you know what happened? He turned it around. Literally in that hour. Okay? Sometimes it doesn't come in the hour. Okay? Sometimes it takes like a month, a week, a year. It doesn't matter. Okay? God, had his timing is perfect. We got to trust him. Okay? We got to wait patiently on the Lord. Wait patiently on the Lord. But my point is, is that there's power in worship worship dance for the lord dance it doesn't matter if you look stupid it doesn't matter what what dance moves god loves it he made you the dancer you are sing a new song to the lord literally freestyle okay the bible oh there's so many times the bible says sing a new song to the lord and i'm a musician so this is what i do right i put on some worship instrumental type in youtube worship instrumental that's something that helps me with prayer because there's intrusive thoughts so that worship instrumental kind of just eases me and, and keeps me focused in the prayer so put worship instrumental when you're praying. But also, if you want to sing a new song to the Lord, just put that or no music and just sing whatever is in your heart. Whatever is in your heart. God, you're so patient. God, you're so good. God, I love you. Whatever, okay? God made your singing voice. Just because you don't think you sound good, God created your singing voice. He loves when you sing. He tells everyone to sing a new song to him. There is power. There's an intimacy that happens when you sing to the Lord. I'm telling you right now, there is an intimacy heart to heart that happens between you and the Lord when you sing to him. A new or old song, right? But try that. Try a freestyle song, whatever flows from your heart for him. Make it personal. Then the last thing I would say is pace and pray. Pace and pray. I taught my friend this the other day. She came over and I told her, pace and pray. The way that you, you sometimes when we're sitting down or we're comfortable or we're in our bed and we're praying, we can fall asleep or we can get distracted or we just don't want to pray. Pace and pray. Start walking. Walking back and forth and praying. Put on that worship music, worship instrumental and start pacing. Or take a walk outside and, and talk. Leave your phone at home. So these are just some of the tips that I will give you guys. Um... They're not, you know, in the Bible or whatever, like some of it is like referenced in the Bible, but these are just my personal tips. And I hope that that helps you guys go to war, fight for your relationship with God and you can fight with him. Ask for his help, ask for your friend's help and sing to him, build that intimacy, spending time, relationships take work, they take time. So uh, I hope this helps you and God bless you guys.